Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now we need to start from our track balance. And then we'll move to Tobio Desktop, where we'll build our financial reports. So when you extract rather, this is just an imaginary trail balance, so which is uh, for the period of December 2017. And then we have uh, debit and credit balances. We have uh, we have capital, current liabilities. We have fixed assets for branch A. We have current assets. We also have direct incomes. We have uh, direct expenses. We have uh, indirect expenses. We also have indirect incomes. And uh, we have also fixed assets for branch B. We have as well intangible assets, long term liabilities, and uh, retained earnings. So you can see our retained earnings here is on the debit side. It means that the company has been operating on losses in the prior periods. That's why we are having our retained earnings on the debit side. And then, of course, we also have our grand total for both debit and credit balances. So from here, after extracting your trial balance, you need to expand it into different categories. So let me move it to rather let me let me show you what I mean by expanded TB. So this is what I have as expanded TB. Have category one, category two, three, four, and then also our branches, and also have a column for date and numerical values. So category one will separate the balance sheet items uh, from the P and L items, and then category two is the the main ledgers of uh, P and L and uh, balance sheet. And then the category three with the sub ledger of uh, category two, and the category four are the final details of category three. And then you can also call category four as the final details of uh, the travel balance. Then from here, now we have uh, this column of date and uh, numerical values. And we need to unpivot the, this column so that we'll have two columns for date and another column for. Rather, we'll have two columns for date and then numerical figures. So from here, we need to just click anywhere on this table. And then we'll click on uh, Data tab. Then we'll click on Table. So that will take us to our Query Editor. And then from here, we can unpivot the column with the date and values. So we'll highlight this column. We'll click Transform. Then we'll unpivot the, the columns so now you can see we have the columns for values and date and then we need to change it. the data type here to date and then we'll rename this attribute to date okay this need to be date then from here now our, our unpivoted table is uh, is now ready for uh, loading into Power BI, but we'll take is we'll take it back to our original data table for rather we'll take it back to our original data set. We are not loading it to Power BI directly. We unpivot it within Excel then is when we'll load it for bi so from here we need to click the home tab then click close and load so here you can see our unpivoted data but this will not load because i'll just trying to show you what uh, or rather the steps that we need to do before we load data into power bi so it, that means that when you extract your trade balance for any given period 
you need to unpivot the column for date and uh, numerical values such that you'll have two columns for date and values so you are expanded tribe balance will be in this format before you load it into the power bi so this will not load but i'll, not, I'll, I'll delete this one because already you have one so after unpivoting our data we'll have unpivoted uh, tb so my unpivoted tb is running from december 2017 to march uh, 2018 okay and then what i did i started with the values for december 2017 then i duplicated the values for january february and march and then i just did some ad adjustments for the closing figures so again now we have already we have our unpivoted table then um, rather than unpivoted TB, then we now we have uh, PNL layout. We need our profit and loss statement within Power to be in this format. And normally it's never easy to come up with uh, this layout within Power BI, but there's a way through you can come up with uh, the layout such that you'll have calculated uh, rows and the calculated rows here are the the rows that have uh, rather the, the categories that are having the the red fonts i have here total revenue total cost of sale gross margin total operating expenses earnings before depreciation interest and tax a bit a bit and it so these are calculated rows that we need to have within our probably a desktop when we are modeling our income statement so we also have balance sheet layout and the same applies uh, the principle that we have applied in our p and the layout is the same principle that we will apply in our balance sheet layout so this one also we have calculated rows and then we also have a date table and then we have purchase uh, table for pp so when we purchase any item of uh, of uh, an asset rather when we purchase, when we purchase an item any asset item this is supposed to be reflected in our trial balance it also need to be reflected in our cash flow and it also need to be reflected in our balance sheet and again we also have a table here for ppe sales so when we sell these assets again we need to uh, rather the values that have been sold need to be reflected within our total balance and uh, balance sheet and uh, also cash flow and then we also have financing table so this one just for capital injection so we have capital and then we also have loan so when we inject more capital and or when we get a loan from different financiers the values need to reflect within our balance sheet and uh, cash flow so all these balances will be coming rather all these balances will be will be reflected within our total balance and they also must be reflected within our balance sheet and cash flow so we have this um tables here so these tables will form our data sets to be loaded into our PBI desktop so we have financing table we have pp sale table we have purchase table we have date table we have balance sheet layout p and l layout and then we also have uh, unpivoted uh, tb so this one i'm calling period months this was just a quick fix for for the months within my model p and l and balance sheet i did not code uh, i did not code the index for months so I, desi I decided to do a quick fix for arranging the months in order so this is the table for 
period month. So these are the tables that we need to load into our BI desktop so that we can create a model or data model before we come up with the balance sheet income statement and the cash flow. So let's stop at that and let's continue the next video where we'll load our tables into Power BI and start modeling our data or reports generation.